Morning guys, so one of my dear YouTube vid video watchers commented and asked me how to patch DWM and the Suckless community would probably hate me for for hand holding uh, you to, to patch uh, DWM and um, the reasons why, I mean the reasons why is because you can just like how to patch a C project and you can probably get some you know good advice about how to do it right here I mean the whole point of um, well you know freedom let me make it clear freedom is not free open source is not free you need to make an effort in order to use open source if you're not willing to make the effort if you don't have the time if you're not willing to pay someone you know I run a company that basically is a consultancy I sell open source software services so if someone doesn't want to go through the bother of maintaining a kiosk distribution they come to me they pay me this is how I buy things and feed my family so so basically I learned how to use open source software I'm not really good at it uh, I'm, I'm you know I'm not the best person out there don't get me wrong but I know enough to like how to patch a C project and I'm gonna show you and hopefully you'll learn how to do it and and and, and learn and, and take this opportunity to learn more so enough preaching aside let's patch DWM I mean I think these fairly good instructions how to patch right here okay I think I um, okay. First things first. Let's did download. Okay, let's get the source. The source. Okay, so you you can download what do you call it? A release. But I I never bother with that stuff. I just go for the Git. So this is the Git thing. Unfortunately, you have to like dig around for the uh, URL. It's probably somewhere in the bottom here and then my browser highlights everything except what I want okie dokie so let's go how to git clone and, and let's go back to the patches so yeah um, I actually like the way a cyclist community don't build the options inside the distribution because a lot of a lot of a lot of shitty sorry excuse my English a lot of crappy projects out there incorporate a whole lot of options and it becomes like a permutation explosion you cannot test all the code parts because there's so many options so it's actually a really awesome thing what they've done here and say look if you wanna like we do what we we're doing here we're gonna focus focus on doing one thing and one thing well and if you want to come with your weird uh, requirements then you know you have to uh, maintain them as uh, patches and uh, I have a very crappy patch here somewhere. Uh, do I? No. Oh, it's in the suckless one. Uh, it's in the ST one. Uh, let me just go for something random. What would be? Uh, I, I use a patch somewhere. I just can't remember which one I use. Hmm. Let me. S I probably have I do you use a key code one. Okay, I'll I'll try this one. Oh yeah, Quentin, I know him. He's good. So, the reason why these are a couple of patches is because I guess one is based on some version uh, Git conversion, and one's based on. Uh, on a 6.0 release. I'm not too sure what version. Anyway, let's just. Whoa, slow. What's going on with my internet? Okay, I guess one reason of downloading a release is that it might be quicker. Da, 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 da. So, what is a patch? It's just basically like a diff. But a diff is a patch it's like a difference on a text file and patch is the command to apply that diff so that the changes get applied but unfortunately computers are stupid 
and things change and it can't like Patch is quite clever. It has to sort of like guess, well not guess, but sort of work out where the changes need to go. And sometimes it's not that smart, and then you have to step in. Okay, so that's I'm grabbing the diff, I'm grabbing the patch. And my internet's really slow for some reason. And then this is the way I usually patch stuff. Uh, if if you get those sort of error messages, then I usually work out. What is going on here? Can't find. Okay, this is probably too old. Let's try to get the new one. actually don't know what, what's happening here. Let's have a look at this closer look at this file. Okay, and uh, that's a GIF one. Uh, okay, maybe I should be using Git then. Uh, uh, follow the instructions. Git get something apply or something there we go get apply that that shouldn't be in a patch no such file or directory ah sorry i'm being a moron i was in the wrong directory all the time so that's applied, you make, it's built, that has that particular patch applied. Sorry I took so long there, I, I was working from the wrong directory. Let me actually start from the beginning, and uh, get a uh, check, uh, how do you reset something? It's good check out, isn't it? Head, get status, get check out. Get status. Make clean. Oh, config edge, whatever. Get set. So that's all cleaned up now. Let me go patch minus plethero. Da, 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 da. What happens here? Let's go for the older one. Let's see what happens. No! Okay. So what hap what happens here if I apply the old patch? It, it, this is where it's not succeeding. Well, no, sorry, it succeeded there, succeeded there, failed there. So if you look in the DWRC, uh, and you go slash search for this stuff. What oh, is it not in here? Rudg. Sorry. I can never remember this stuff. Did I tell you I was a bit crap? Okay, this is where it failed to apply. And this is where you might want to try and work it out. But someone has ta has, uh, has basically done the work for you. And um, I can't be bothered to uh, replicate his work. But this kind of goes back to the, you see, oh, it works. It, it's okay to have that. <laughs> it's, it's actually okay to have that header. Sorry, I didn't. Uh, so you can use git apply, git different, what did I say, git? You can use git apply or you can just use patch. Okay, sorry, I bumbled through that a lot. But that's how you patch a program. Um, of course, if you're applying a lot of patches, all hell can break loose because, again, that goes back to the permutation explosion. I mean, you have to work out how everything fits together and um, often patches upon patches don't work 
at all and, and you have to figure it out if you really want these features and maybe you should just take a step back and think to yourself do I really need these features because that is a, a practice of a newbie basically less is more you really want less less code less problems work with less to see I mean like for example I know this sounds like a stupid example but like try and try and work without syntax highlighting you know try and work without syntax highlighting because the minute you actually introduce syntax highlighting into an editor the minute everything gets super duper complex you know like basically with syntax highlighters they have to like pass and understand your code in order to highlight the right things if you're if you're upload if you basically um load a very large file or not that you should be working with large files but you can sometimes it's interesting to see what syntax highlighters do they croak so okay to be honest that's a terrible example i can't live without syntax highlighters. i love syntax highlighters but the fact is try and make do with less you know um and yeah sorry to be really preachy here but like learn to fish okay and if you don't don't want to learn how to fish use some other shitty program or pay someone to to basically help you out Okay, thanks guys, thanks for watching.